Each bar price predictions for 2024 and beyond. We're going to cover where we're at now, where we could head to, and where we could extend to for this upcoming imminent to potentially max 100 days for this big bull run commencing in 2024. So if you're new here, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment, share this with every H bar holder you know, so they can get some realistic price targets so they can start busting their calculator out ahead of time. So you can start developing your strategy now while everybody else isn't. Because preparing a strategy beforehand is how you execute on your strategy when the time comes, or even better, automating your strategy. And that's what we just launched with our Stargate automatic trading bots. And actually, we're looking at the two day chart currently right now. So, right off the gate, let's jump into it because our Stargate H bar trading bot is about to flash a buy pretty soon here. You have the two day prepare to buy soon that's flashed. And all we're waiting for is that ver vertical blue buy now signal and it's gonna take a long for us. So how close are we for that to happen? We need to see the TSI cross up, stock RSI cross up. So we're close, but not quite there yet. And that's the beauty of having the bots reading these signals for us 24 seven, 365, because it's only gonna take the trade when it says that, you know, now's the best time to take the trade. I could look at this manually myself and be like, Oh, we're about to rip. Like, let's buy in now, guys. Let's buy in now. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. But I could be dead wrong, you know? And then this could just keep rolling over. And that buy now maybe won't flash until maybe down here at three and a half cents. And I could be wrong, but the bot ain't wrong. I'm not better than the bot. You know, I created the bot, but I ain't better than the bot. So that's why I'm personally excited to have these automatic trading bots trading for us because... You know, 24 7, 365, once that blue comes in, it's gonna take it. We can try to front run as much as we can or as much as we want, but just having that strategy, executing on it, automating it, that's the, the best bang for your buck, in my opinion. So, right now, we got that two day prepared to buy soon, waiting for that buy now signal, where we're at as far as the price action. So, we have this low to this high up here. And if H bar comes down, I'd only wanna see it come down to like around four and a half cents. And that's that concrete floor. And as we, we could put a horizontal line here, you can see that's been a, a critical support. We broke down from it. We had a little capitulation moment, but then we ripped up like pretty substantially at the start of 2023. Then we had a little breakdown below it back here in June, and then we started to rip up and then we went up pretty substantially. And then we came back down to it in September and we found a nice bounce off that level. So I, I would say if we're going to break down, we'd only kind of peak below that level slightly because it's kind of like we had a big dip down then a medium dip down and then it would probably be a tiny dip down if we even do it so i would say the floor for h bar is around 0 0.044 cents and that's only like maybe 10 percent away so we're closer to the bottom than we think here especially with that two day prepare to buy soon we have uh, i think a uh, three day no we don't have a three day but as you can see though we had multiple three day prepare to buy soons and buy nows at this level and usually that tells us all right this is a nice concrete support floor that we should find a bounce on out of here at so that's where we're at currently so i want to see us hold that where we're at now honestly because that we're at the 786 but if we do break it expect a 10 percent move to the downside and then an ultimate bottom and then we can rip up unless there's a black swan event or anything like that, that could take us down to around three cents in those levels. And that'd be an opportunity and a steal of a lifetime. Cause when I was buying H bar, I bought H bar when it literally came out five seconds after it came out. And I bought back here in 2019, you know, like an idiot, <laughs> like 20 cents, like just dump money in as soon as it was listed. And then I bought down here in three cents and then it tanked to a cent. And I thought I was in the wrong coin, but then it ripped up and then I was stacking at three cents and then three and a half cents. And then it went up like 20 X all of a sudden it just ripped up. And I was up here when it was up here. I was like, man, I wish I bought more of it. So right now, while it's at the same level where I was buying it back at like about four years ago, I learned my lesson this time. I'm going to scoop up as much H bar at these levels because I've seen what it did before. And there's only so much more traction and validation as far as H bar goes. 
and we're at the same price. So I'm looking to strike on this and I know you guys are too. So like and subscribe, leave a comment on which coin you want me to cover next. But that's where we're currently at. So now we're going to talk about 2024 price targets and beyond. So grab those calculators, look at your ledger, see how much you got H bar in the stack at and, and let's dive into it. So I would say, and I'm going to go out on a limb here. I already did XRP, did XLM and you might have noticed already if you've seen those videos, if you haven't, I will link them in the bio here that XRP and XLM are in that green zone. They're already in that green zone. Remember from the last video at XLM, XLM did break below the green zone, but then once it got back in the green zone, that's when we knew the bear market low was in. H bar is yet to get in that green zone, but it's found resistance at it multiple times here. So XLM and XRP to me are gonna lead the market with the bull run specifically for those coins. There's other coins like AGI, you know, a bunch of other ones, Render, that have probably already popped up above this green zone. But if we're talking about the OGs, the ones that we all been tracking for a bit now, waiting for that mega moon, XRP and XLM are, are leading the market clearly when it comes to that because they're up in this green zone already. XRP is further up than XLM and then HBAR is getting close. And that's what we're going to cover. So I want to see HBAR get into this green zone. So first level would be getting above 0 0.063 cents. If we can get above there, this is where we're going to do. We're going to extend. Okay, so we're on the long term. If we can get above that green zone or into the green zone, then I think we're going to quickly fire up to the gray, which would be around 12 and a half cents. So 12 and a half cents here. And then we have are 0 0.063. Those are our first two key levels because we, we need to take more steps for H bar to then get up to these targets where at this point, 32 cents is gonna be that point. I mean, from where we're at now to 32 cents is already a big move to the 786. But if we can break above there, we're talking $3.30. Then we're talking $54, you know? And then I'm not gonna cover these because I, I don't think those are realistic. So those are some levels right there what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab it from this little move right here to the low right there and then all right so we got one more target which is 17 and a half cents another target which is around 44 cents then we got a dollar 11 and then a dollar 96 perfect then i'm going to get rid of this but after i mark the 786 right here then we're going to throw those snakes back on and then we're going to throw that fib forecaster back on so as you can see with H bar, when we get below the, the green zone, incredible buying opportunity. When we're in the green zone, it's still a great buying opportunity. And then great time to sell when we get into that red zone. So where this red zone is currently residing at, the bottom of it's at 60 cents. So right here and the top of it it's going to be around a dollar 20 and keep in mind when we start to fire up these are going to start to press up as well too i would say that the target of the 1618 at three dollars and 30 cents to me seems like a realistic price target for h bar end of 2024 we could definitely and i don't know about 50 you know i don't see us going up to these levels over here like 55 bucks i do see three dollars and 30 cents being a mega moon for H bar, because really, like, if we take current levels to where that is, we're talking like a 70x, you know, just up to there, which is just the 1618 extension. And from the past all time high, that's only about a 600% move up. So, entirely realistic, in my opinion, not financial advice, not financial advisor. So, our first little mini moon, I would say. It's getting back up to all time highs over here. That's a 10X. XLM XRP, if they were to 10X from where they're currently at, we're talking new all time highs for those. H bar is in a different boat. So, mini moon is this zone, getting even just up to that 786. So, this is our mini moon from 32 cents up to 58 cents. Because from the point that we're currently at, we're talking that's a 600% to 1100% move, which is substantial. That's a big move. Then if we can break above that level, then we can talk about $1.10 to $3 is gonna be our medium mega-ish move. That is a mega move because it was like around 70X, 80X. So let's now mark this. Then what I'm gonna do is say this is our high and this is our low that we set where we're currently at so even this micro fib the 4236 extension and the 3618 extension brings us to that mini moon box and then that 2618 extension brings us to um, another level that we marked out as well too and i think it was on the snakes nope i think it was something different it was a different fib that we pulled up for that one so yeah i would say very realistic for 
H bar in 2024, like to go to 32 to 63 cents. Very, very realistic. Then I would say it's possible, and I still think it's really realistic for H bar to get to over a dollar to three dollars if we're gonna talk anything above three dollars i don't think that's gonna come in 2024 in my opinion so right now about four thousand eight hundred dollars is a hundred thousand h bar if you had a hundred thousand h bar and it goes up to that that level of a mini moon from 31 cents to 60 cents you're talking 30 grand to 60 grand you know and then if it goes up to a dollar three bucks talking 100k to 300k telling you lives can change very quickly in the crypto market so that's the levels so we got first we need to break above 0 0.063 to 0 0.077 if we can do that i think we're going to quickly double to around 12 cents to 18 cents at that point we get above there i think we're going to quickly fire up to our mini moon levels which is like i said 32 to 60 cents up there. At that point, we're gonna have to see how the market environment is at that point. But I would say it's very plausible that we could see, cause we're gonna see these snakes start to slither up like this. They're gonna start to slither up like that and it will get into this box here. So I'll definitely be unloading some H bar from a dollar to $3 long-term bags. And I'll be looking to swing some out around 32 to 60 cents to de-risk a tiny bit. But uh, I would say like half is gonna go out from a dollar to 330, maybe like 10 to 15% around this area. And then I'll hold around 25% for the long run to eventually maybe even hit 53 bucks and hit that target, which is a massive move from where we're at. We're talking a hundred thousand percent. Could it happen? Maybe, but definitely not 2024 in my opinion. So yeah, first we need to take it level by level. You know, first we need to get above the 0 0.063, the 0 0.077. We get above there, quickly melt up, do a double around 13 to 18. We get above there, quickly melt up. You know, stair step up. We got to stair step up. At the end of the day, though, I'm looking at the four day chart. This is what we have the H bar bot set up for for our sells and our buys for swing trade slash long term. And the reason why I'm going to just wait for the four day sell now to tell me when to sell because it did a good job crushing it with these buys now and then the sells like we bought the bottom, sold the tops, bought the bottom, sold, bought the bottom. So it's crushed it so far. And that's the thing like once the momentum overheats and gets those vertical reds and then that yellow sell now signal comes in that's your warning that the momentum is dying out the momentum is dying out and then when the vertical green comes in the blue comes in then we're we're ready to you know at least have a local bottom this one a little lower local bottom but then we pop back up i'm gonna wait for the four day sell now four day buy nows i'm not gonna hope for it to reach a certain concrete number if it gets up into a zone or close to it and then the sell nows come in i'm gonna let go of some and that's the beauty of the stargate signals it doesn't operate enough of concrete price targets we can forecast where it could go to and then when it starts to overheat we can hope that it gets to a certain level but if it runs out of juice flash that sell now then we got to de-risk and you know the beauty of it is it's all going to be automated for us so we don't have to make that manual emotional decision so if you want to get in on that link is in the bio for the stargate automated experience it's the first week 60 percent off it's massive deal you're going to get access to the automated trading bots and everything that comes with the stargate infinity membership from now until december 2024 you're talking 14 months one-time payment the bot's gonna work for you and it's gonna pay for itself so link is in the bio for that join the discord rob at stargate if you have any questions or you could call me bobby bots from now on shout out to poly g and yeah so that's gonna be it guys share this with every h bar holder you know i will see you guys in the discord and in the next video